Hey everyone, Dr. Yi here. A new year is a new start, and I hope everyone will have a very successful 2024, especially with teas. So since this is the beginning of the year, I was thinking maybe I could make a video on some of the important things about teas if you just started. Um, it's just I wanted to talk about some uh, important things about registration and some logistics so that you know all those things now so that you have plenty of time to, to prepare for it. Okay, so these are the topics that I want to cover. Um, so we're going to split to two parts. Today, we're going to talk about cost, test modality. Do you want to take the test remotely or take the test in person? Testing locations and schools accepted test locations. So these two are very similar, um, but for testing locations, that's more about if you want to take the test in person, you want to figure out where you can go to take the test. What are some of the location options? ID requirement, and then we're going to talk about cutoff score. So this is the minimum score that you need to get uh, in order to apply for the school and also where to register. Uh, in the next video, we'll talk about time to submit your transcript, last date to submit your TESA score to the school that you are applying to, um, what's the policy about second attempt, right? If you want to take the test again to improve your score, what's the policy around that? How many attempts are allowed? in a year, so how many times you can take T's in a year. Is there any accommodation for taking the T's test? What's the refund and the reschedule policy? That's good to know, right? Because you pay a lot to take T to take the T's test. And if you can't make it, can you get a refund or can you reschedule the test? And last, I want to kind of real quick talk about the point system. Uh, so this is part of the application to the school to the nursing program. I want to just show you that TEAS is not the only thing that matters, right? With that point system, there are other factors that will be considered in your application, such as your GPA. So don't think that TEAS is the only thing that you need to get a good score for. When you take college credits, you need to make sure that you have very good grades, you have a very good GPA to make your application very competitive. Okay, now let's look at the cost. So depending on which school you're applying for, the cost will be different. It varies depending on locations. Usually it's between $60 to $140. Now average, it's about $120. So it's not an insignificant amount, right? So it's it's quite a bit money for all of us. So before you register for T's, you want to be physically and mentally prepared. You have uh, plenty of time to study. You can get a good score so you don't waste all that money. Now that cost covers a lot of different kinds of fees, right? When you look at it, like, oh my gosh, I'm paying so many different fees um, just to take teas. That is true. You would be proctored. So there will be proctor fees, scheduling fees. There will be people who are handling your registration Right. Um, so some of the registration fees will also go to that. And if you take T's in person, there will be room fees, right? Because the location, whether it's a school or a testing center, will probably charge some money for you to take the test in their space. Okay. Um, now I have a, a few examples of the cost from different schools. So in this uh, first example, the cost is $95. So it's a little bit lower than the average. Tells you what the cost covers, right? Testing fee, scheduling fee, proctoring fee. The next part is very interesting. If you want to retake T's, you are not going to get a discount. The cost is still the same. It's still $95. And uh, make sure you remember this. Pretty much for all the schools that I have seen, you have to pay that amount at the time of registering for T's. You have to pay the cost upfront. So when you register for the test, they are going to charge you. Now for another school, the cost is $107. And we're going to talk about the 
uh, refund and reschedule policy next time. But for this particular school, this fee is non-refundable. So if somehow you miss the test, you're not going to get a refund. So keep that in mind that you may lose the money. There is a small chance if you can't take the test. And for this particular school, you pay the exam fee online through the ATI testing website. So a lot of schools do this. They ask you to register with ATI and then pay the fee through the ATI testing website. Here's another example from Bucks County Community College. Uh, so their fee is $117. So that's uh, about the average. Uh, this is also interesting. You have to register at least five days before the exam date. So you can see, you know, all these details are kind of important, right? If you decide to take a TES test in three days, if you, you know, if you're thinking about applying for this particular college, it's not going to work, right? And then again, for this school, you can see the cost is non-refundable. But there is a little note there. If you contact ATI at this number, at least two business days before the exam. So that does not include Saturday, Sunday. Right? So if you want to take the test in the following Monday, right, you have to contact ATI before the previous Thursday, because at least two business days. So keep that in mind. The business days are not the same as calendar days. Now, if you do that, they may be able to reschedule your exam. So again, this kind of uh, ties to what we're going to talk about next time. This is about rescheduling. There is a chance that you may be able to, to reschedule with ATI, but, but you have to give them a call two business days before your exam.